playing this game ready, I just realized I didn't check for any other side quests, and it turns out there's a bunch. I don't know if I'll be able to do them, because then they get harder and harder, but I'd like to believe I can do it. <laughs> Figure, why not at least try, right? Give me just a hot second. Okay, there we go. All right. So, let's, ow, before I get going, I figure you guys enjoyed these, so why not? All right, defeat the Mirage in the Eye of the Desert. Edgar's lounging in his castle when Ferris stops by for a word. The Cogna she's after has appeared in the desert, so Edgar volunteers to deal with it in her steed. Hmm. Let's give it a try. Where is my tea? I need a word, Edgar. Well, what have we here? If it isn't the Venus of the sea. Belay that nonsense before I dry heave myself to death. <laughs> Forgive me. I was just so overcome by your beauty. Jesus! Ah, enough! God, you're thirsty. Now tell me, what have you dredged up about that Cogna? Please, please. I find your courage intriguing, but I'd just as soon not have you stick out that beautiful neck of yours. Uh, that thing has damaged my ship and injured my crew. I would have seen to it myself if it hadn't fled inland. From what we've seen, it strikes at random by land, sea, and sky. Worse, it can adapt its shape to each locale. We have to hit it where we can, on solid ground and out on the water. But now that it's made an enemy of Figaro, I can assure you it won't get anywhere near your ship again. Please, leave the creature's disposal to us. How heroic. That monstrosity should rightly die by my own hands. But do the deed if you're so willing. Yes. I only ask that if I return home safely, you reward me. I know that that's settled. I'll be on my way. And if that thing does best you, you have my word that you'll be properly avenged. <laughs> I've never played the Final Fantasy he's from. Is he always this thirsty? Where are we? We call this site the Eye of the Desert. It's where Figaro Castle originally stood. It's I'm in places like bad. this and Big Bridge Just that you might, if you're especially lucky, see mirages that no one else has. Little excited for possibly getting like through this at the same time. Right. They appear sure in no legend or book. <laughs> not even in Tome Town's treasure trove of volumes. What's more, some have said that the Eye of the Desert could be connected to other worlds. What does it mean when worlds are connected? Something happens? Well, it means... <sighs> I knew it would just be a matter of time before it found its way back. Phoebe, look out! <laughs> I hate being right! There we go! Oh, dude! Legendary doesn't even begin to describe it! Not at all! I wonder what's going on in the world these things came from. I think we may have to look into that someday. I've got this. Alright. I'm excited because I'm at the possibility that I'm gonna get through this game today, but at the same time I'm not. I like I don't know how to feel. Oh you little fucker! Alright, well that's fine. Mm -hmm. Alright, let's just let's just attack it, cause Oh crap, who has oh shit, I don't remember who has what. That's her. Ow! Bitch. 
Uh-oh. Maybe you don't. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Oh, okay, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Let's see. Oh. You did it! Victory! I guess I could have tried to capture it, but I don't care for mocking of mirages. They're not... They're boring to me. Alright. Wait, that was Omega Weapon? Nuh-uh. Omega Weapon is a dragon, I thought. Well, oh. that was a pretty good workout, huh? What? That was the most powerful mirage I've ever seen! And you're telling me more of them will turn up here? Who knows, kiddo. But, if it'll win me points with the world's loveliest ladies, then I say go ahead and keep churning these nightmare adversaries out. Uh, I say please don't. Vivi, don't chicken out. You want to be single forever? <laughs> Whatever that mirage was, I don't think it came here just to attack without rhyme or reason. It wouldn't bother going out to sea except to do reconnaissance. Well, whoever it's testing the waters for, I'm ready to guard the world's treasures, by which I mean women. Oh my god. You're a thirsty bitch! Different version of Omega Weapon? I don't know. I'm gonna heal up. Alright. Eh. Need something? Yep. What I now? need to intervene. Whose soul will you touch? I would like it if it didn't keep booting me out of the menu. That's one thing I'd like. Or appreciate. Um, oh. Omega Bane Memento. So it wasn't weapon, but it was something of the, sh of the sort. Let's see. Complete the League of S's assignment. The League of S agents spend a quiet moment talking about what they want to do once Cogna are defeated. Squall realizes that he doesn't have any dreams for the future, unlike everyone else, and starts feeling gloomy and depressed. Oh no! However, there isn't much time to mope about. New orders from Quistus send him and Shelk off to take down a dangerous mirage. Oh, my... 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 my Squall is sad! Why didn't they put Reno in this?! Oh, that's from Final Fantasy oh, Between the Cogna and Mirages, I could really use a break. I can't wait till this is over, and I can get back to Blitzball training. <laughs> I've got my own business to attend to, as long as he's still out there. As for me, I know that once Bahamut is dealt with and the Cogna are gone, I've always dreamed of becoming an instructor. <laughs> Squall, you okay there, buddy? Don't think I've ever seen you like this. You look kind of troubled. So you... you've all given some thought to what happens next. Squall, darling, do you ever put down your gun blade? Do you just walk around with it like you that? Doesn't your arm going, ache? But not... me. Nothing? Come on. You must have put something on hold for this. What were you gonna do with your life? I mean, once all the bad guys are gone for good, what's the first thing you want to do? Like, there can't be nothing. You want to know what I'm planning to do with my life? I never thought about it. I guess oh. I have no future. Hey, there's nothing wrong with being Phew, a man. Oh, he's so sad. Is Titus right? No, it's worse than that. It's like I'm empty. I've got no dreams. I don't think I even know how to dream. All I really know is fighting. Is that what my life is? Once the Federation has been destroyed, will I no longer have a purpose? Squall! We've picked up a powerful mirage. Shulk is already en route. Can you go? Sure. I'll take care of it. Besides, it's not like I've got anything else important on the horizon. Squall! I'm 
I'm here now. I'll take over. Hold on a minute. Let's team up. It'll improve our chances. If we attack both Just stay back. I said I've got it. Whoa, stop it! Would you let me finish this time? If we work to Just get... Just stop. Fighting. It's the only thing I've got. I'm not like the rest of you. You've got bright futures. I won't let you get hurt. Leave that to losers like me. Okay, okay, Zed is right now. You're being emo, dude. I love you, but dude, I can slap you right now. I'm like you. I have nothing to live for beyond this. I am ready to die in battle whenever that moment should come. What? But still. Please. I like how you the just monsters said that just let all talk. you've got. If so, you must know exactly how I feel. I have no dreams. As such, I've no incentive to survive this war. In fact, I have a very compelling incentive to not survive. So why don't we do this? Let's go out guns blazing. End it all here and now. Holy shit. Discharging all our magic at once would destroy that mirage. Yeah. Right. If I really thought that the world would be better off without me. If I'm that sad, that desperate. Fine. But I don't think that. Not enough to give up on living. No way. Hmm? Oh, you're no gonna get blazing. smile. I do have a dream. Sorry. No dying today. You know what I dream? That one day, I'll fill the world with flowers. Huh? Yeah. Think about it. Flowers make people relax. The way I see it, they help make the world more peaceful. I get the reference. I was hoping you would come and plant with me. So, don't go dying on me now. If you don't have your own dream, you can find one later. Wow, this monster's probably right. like, God damn, you guys done yet? Life is just too precious. Glad you're catching on. Now quit your moping. Stop dragging yourself in the dirt and work with me. Shulk, did you play me? Well, after your talk with Titus, I noticed you seemed somewhat down. My god, this monster's probably like, Jesus, come on, let's fight. You got me. Won't do it again. So, you ready? Future's waiting. Oh, look, he did smile! All right. It's a nice thought. Maybe we can help him plant those flowers. We could scatter the seeds from Balam Garden. <laughs> we could. Nice knowing ya. Uh... Whoa, what the hell? Oh, what? close to getting to level 68. <coughs> you know, it may actually not be such a bad idea. What? Filling the world with flowers once this is all over. Cut it out. It was the only thing I could come up with. 
What do you say we head back? Everyone's waiting. Oh, you, you smile. It's so cute. <laughs> I like the reference, though. Because when Squall was in prison uh, in Final Fantasy VIII, instead of spilling the secrets behind the gardens, he just said flowers. Balon Garden, the... the Headmaster's goal is to fill the world with flowers, to stop the war, and make everyone feel at peace. Which was total Need crap, something? but... <laughs> what now? Which is why the special forces are called seeds. Whose soul will you touch? We go around the world planting flowers. <laughs> oh, Alright, next, find out what's deactivating the black mages. Vivi learns that mirages have appeared in the training grounds and declared that they will destroy the black mages. The black mages have already begun to deactivate. And so Vivi and his fellows head to face this existential threat and forge their own destiny. Dun, dun, dun. Let's go. Burn. Golems without purpose must be destroyed. Okay. That was weird. Huh? What do you mean some of the black mages have stopped moving? How could that happen? I thought you were all training together the whole night. A mirage? Charade! Came to the training grounds threatening to destroy us all? Does that mean it's time? Hey, remember that conversation we had? About what we're doing in this world? What our purpose is? Our memories only go so far back, you know? To the moment our paths crossed with Rain and Lon. I think maybe the reason we came to this world was so they could find us. And once our job is done, it could be our lives are supposed to end. Thank you. Yeah, you're right. However we started out, that's not who we are now. Together, we'll drive that creature away. without purpose must be destroyed. Uh, tell me, are you the mirage hunting my friends? What do you want? Just what leave us alone! Tools do not have a choice. Tools that are no longer useful must be destroyed. So much for trying to talk this one out. Come on! We fight! Okay. These golems need to be taught a lesson. Vivi's not a tool. He's a person. Yeah. And more than that, he's our friend. Oh, crap. I didn't put Libra on. God damn it. No. Oh, man. I totally boned myself. out of whatever those are they looked so cool they kind of reminded me of little footballs oh no that golem 
said that we were just tools to be disposed of. But that's not oh, true. Oh, they're good. Okay. We chose to fight, and we managed to beat him. We are nobody's tools. Am I not right? Edgar said something to me once, and now it makes sense to me. Don't you see? We don't need a purpose to live. Life is the purpose. <laughs> You've come a long way, Vivi. Right. Come on. Let's go. We all have a job to do. It's up to you and me to keep Figaro's people safe. I know exactly what to live for now. Another day. <sighs> okay. All right. Note to self, I need to start checking that before I get back on my streams because usually I'm trying to grind a little bit after the streams. Shall we so get I put lure on. But what now? I keep forgetting so to change touch. it, and then I come across cool looking mirages, what? and then I just burn myself, and it's like, god damn it. Okay. Find Echo's senses. Echo and Fenrir are on the move. Echo stops detecting something with her horn, and Fenrir seems to notice some notice whatever it is as well. Glancing forward, they see something waiting for them at their destination. Dun dun dun! Something's out there. I know, Fenrir. You can sense it too. If it's making my horn act up like this. Then it can only be a mirage with some kind of connection to my tribe. We'd better go check it out. Hmm. Is this the spot? I can feel it. Whoa! Are you the mirage who's been calling us? What is it? You don't mean to fight us. Fenrir, get ready! Oh, is that for my little purple and black puppy? Oh my god, does he Cool. I didn't know Aiko's horn was real. Sure seems that way. It used to be that every the summoner was the symbolized by their horn. Huh, I didn't know that. So Aiko must be descended from an ancient line of them. Unimprisonable! Oh, come on! Ow. <sighs> so this thing must be fire. So that's lawn. That's where lawn comes from. Ground. Voice. Echo, these are dark times. 
and Grimoire faces a terrible crisis. The world will soon have need of the power our tribe possesses and the mirages who answer our call. The mirages who answer our call? What do you mean? Are there others out there besides Fenrir? You share a connection with many mirages. You must find them. Join their power with yours and wield it well. The future is yours. May it be bright. Uh, wait! You are not alone, Eiko. The tribe will always be watching over you. Oh. Fenrir. Know who that was? That had to have been one of my ancestors' mirages. Come yeah. to think of it, Grandfather once told me... After I celebrate my 16th birthday, I would be able to form bonds with many different mirages. But now, I need to focus on the things I can accomplish in the present. After all, I've still got a long, long way to grow. Fenrir, can I count on you to be there for me? Yeah. Grimoire's in danger. And if it needs my tribe's power, the summoner's power, then I'll share it with you. Rain. Lawn. Alrighty. Cool! Ow! Sorry, my cat just pawed at my feet. I did not feel good. Stop it! Welcome to the rift between dreams and time. What now? Intervene! Whose soul will you... I don't know. Let's see. Woo! Alright. Let's see. Take out the target mirage. Quistus has tasked Taro with taking out a particularly, particularly nasty mirage. According to an eyewitness report, I can't believe a freak of nature like that even exists. What could this hideous aff affront to all that is good be? I don't know. But that's kind of rude just because it looks different. I must do my part and fight. Whatever's out there, I'm going to have to face it with courage. The mirage in these latest reports sounds particularly nasty. Cloud? Oh, right. He's not here. Squall! No, he's out on a mission too. I'll take this one. Tara? Are you ready for it? Yes. If you need my help, I can fight. Okay then. But be extra careful, please. Something feels off about this one. One witness said, I can't believe a freak of nature like that even exists. I'm quoting that word for word. A mirage that's too hideous to be true? I see. You can handle this, Terra. Come on. <laughs> oh, this one's a tasty morsel. I'd love to get my tentacles around her. What the fuck? Who are you? Don't tell me you haven't heard of Ultros. This puss belongs Whoa. to an octopus oh! extraordinaire. I hated fighting you in Final oh, Fantasy Record Keeper. You the suck. In the reports? Hey, someone has been causing trouble around here. Is it you? Oh, no! I would never! But I know the crook you're after. Oh, what a fiend. How's this? Why don't I help you out and show you the way to his lair? Huh? Really? Oh, I'd love to! <laughs> I don't like you. <laughs> She's more than tasty. She's so deliciously naive, I can't resist. I think I might have just bagged me a winner here, folks! Hmm? What did you say? Uh, nothing worth repeating. Hey, um, about that hideous mirage, would you say it's nearby? Oh, it'll still be a ways. Listen. 
listen, could you tell me where you're taking me? <laughs> uh, why, somewhere that you and I can have plenty of fun together, of course. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, what? my mind is taking this, this so time, dirty. You've been lying to me? You really are a nasty mirage. But this is it. You're through! <laughs> All right, you got me. I might have told a fib. But no, I'm not the nasty McNast you're hunting for, I swear! It doesn't matter. You deceive people for who knows what awful purposes. Never again! Why, you? Fine! Be that way! Didn't want to keep up the act anyway! You wanna know who's been inking up a stink in this neighborhood? Ultros has! Ooh, shocker! Yeah. <laughs> huh? What's wrong? And tell me, does that make me a bad octopus? Sorry, so sorry! Alright. I can't believe Tara actually trusted this creep. Yep, she's much to the gullible. One day it's gonna be her undoing, I'm afraid. No, no, you've gotta believe me! I'm actually a really nice guy, an octopus guy. Actually, I'm just an octopus. What, really? Oh, well, why didn't you tell us that sooner? Wait, what part of him looks really nice? Huh? Ha -ha! Well, no part of him, duh! Lon, how many people trick you two? What? We have an octopus to fight! I missed! Uh... Woo! That's... That, that hit nicely. Do it again! Alright, let's see. Unimprisonable. Weak against lightning. Weak against fire. Weak against light. Got it. Let's see how this plays out. I didn't like you in Record Keeper. I still right. don't like you. I'd have to say that Mirage really was too hideous to be true. Threads of Fate. Oh, that was it? Really? Alright. Need something? What now? Intervene! Whose soul will you touch? Alright, let's take a look-see. All right. Defeat Bismarck. Yuna and Titus walk along the beach having a delightful date or their conversation. Wait, hold up. They have a job to do. They're here to find Bismarck and bring it down. Time to stop talking and get searching. Let them date. Jesus fuck. God, people just can't date anymore. Don't worry, Yuna. You'll be fine as long as I'm here. That Mirage, it's Bismarck, right? I can take him. Uh, thank you. But we're here to fight him together. You don't have to take him alone. You got it. So, is it me, or do we have something here? Like we're soulmates, wouldn't you say? No. Ah, this is no time for silly jokes. We need to focus on the battle that lies before us. <laughs> okay, you're right. I'm sorry. I just want to help us relax. Loosen up for the big fight. Right. Let's roll out.
From what Quistus was telling us, Bismarck should still be somewhere in this area. So, hey, if I remember right, don't they call Bismarck the Shining Demon? Seems kind of weird. Shining doesn't sound threatening. Like, between Shining Yuna and Shady Yuna, Shady Yuna sounds bad, but Shining Yuna sounds cool. Titus, let's save the analysis for later. Right now, we need a plan in case things go wrong. Say, we fail to defeat Bismarck. Valifor and I will create a diversion so that you hey, can... Hey, hold up. What say, we maybe think some happier thoughts? There's nothing wrong with being prepared for the worst. But, I promise you, on my honor as a summoner, I will keep you safe. Come on now, Yuna. I'm glad you're looking out for me. I am. But, can't you at least let me pretend like I'm helping? See, there's this thing about guys. Huh? What thing about guys? Uh, actually, I think I just as soon not know. A good summoner has to know people to help people. Right? Guys are like half the population. You don't want to be 50% summoner, do you? Well, that's fair. So if I understand you correctly, then learning about men is an education. That's right. I don't want to scare you with all our deep and complicated emotions. So, let me just give you the broader points. Number one, we like to flirt. Uh, I knew that you weren't taking this seriously. <laughs> <laughs> but you were taking it so seriously that I couldn't help it. <laughs> okay, I'll admit, you did get me to relax. There, that's more like it. If you don't enjoy yourself, then what's the point of going on a quest? Oh, hey, check this out. You ever whistle? <sighs> oh, That's wonderful. A sound that clear could cut through anything. <gasps> Wait, that's perfect. Huh? If we ever get separated, you can just whistle to signal for help. Okay? And then I'll come running. <sighs> you know, you seem real set on coming to somebody's rescue before this day is over. So... Now you whistle. <sighs> okay. <sighs> That's okay. I won't need it. I never ask others for help. Why not? So you're a summoner. So what? There's no shame in asking for help when you need it. Titus, you've already been there for me once when it mattered the most. Then let me be there again. It's not like anyone's keeping score. <sighs> Why is it that you're so... Up, uh, we got company. All right, dude, it brought its own water. I suppose that's just how this mirage rolls. Make sure you have the doc's medicine at the ready, just in case we get sucked in. Okay, yes, the man.
I don't know what that is about, but I, that's, that's starting to piss me off. interested in these side stories, not gonna lie. Some of them are eh. But so far I haven't complained <sighs> about any. Looks like we did it. Most. Right? Hello? Where'd he go? Titus? Huh? Where did he go? <gasps> hey Titus! <gasps> Titus! What? No, no. He was right here. Wait, if I whistle for him, maybe he'll come back like nothing happened. I can't. I just can't do it. Titus. What? Oh my god, you asshole! Whoa, 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 whoa. That last shot there, I'll tell you, it really packed a punch. <sighs> Yuna! You alright? Hey! <laughs> Silly, of course I'm alright. Don't scare me like that. <laughs> Sorry about that. So, you wanna head back? Uh, sure, let's go. I was gonna say, I swear, if they make him disappear, that's really fucked up. Oh, man. Good evening. Hello. What now? Whose soul will you touch? I want her tea set. Alright, let's see. Hunt the silver-haired swordsman. What? Cloud and Lightning are on a mission to take down an extremely dangerous mirage. They've stopped by a village where Cloud hears a rumor that a silver-haired swordsman passed through recently. Cloud abandons his mission to hunt this man, leaving Lightning to face the monster alone. They're not gonna show him. They're 
not. They're, I'm getting excited for nothing. They're not. No. No. There have just been new sightings of an extremely powerful mirage. I need for the two of you to take care of it. Tara is already stationed close by. Once she's freed up, I'll tell her to rendezvous with you and help out. Got it. But there won't be anything left to help with. One of us is gonna take that mirage down first. Wanna make it a race, Cloud? <laughs> Not interested. I'm sorry, why does Squall get all the crap about Squall being... Yeah, why does Squall get all the crap about being emo when Cloud acts like that? It's like, oh, come on! If anybody's emo, There's it's a village. him. Why don't we ask around about the Mirage? Maybe they've seen it. Hey. Question for you. Have you seen an unusual Mirage in the area? Oh, you'd better believe that I've seen it. <sighs> I've never been so scared in my life. When it came here and attacked the village, I was just about ready to give up all hope. But that's strange. I don't see a whole lot of damage. Where did the Mirage go? You'll never believe it. The silver-haired swordsman came and drove it off. The way he wielded that long blade of his, it was a sight to <laughs> behold. Did you say silver hair? <laughs> I'm sorry. Huh. Tell me My where he went. My brain took that Cloud. dirty. <laughs> We're here to look for a mirage, not oh a swordsman. Don't get sidetracked. I'm pretty sure that the mirage retreated to the mountains. The swordsman went the opposite way. I need to... Got it. Thanks a lot. Oh, my brain. I need... I swear, Cloud? I need a vacation just so my Sorry, brain can stop doing but that. I'm going after that guy. Take care of the mirage. What? Hey, you can't just leave. Cloud! Who is this? Swordsman. I've been waiting too long to pick up his trail. This time, I'll... Cloud! I didn't expect to find you here. Terra. Oh, yeah. Quistus mentioned that you were close by. Listen. Something else came up. You should go track down Lightning in case she needs your help. Something came up? You left Lightning to face that Mirage all by herself? What could possibly be so important? Look, there's this guy. I've been hunting him for a while. Now I'm finally right on his heels. I'm not gonna let this chance slip away. Hunting him? Cloud, you're scaring me. Why are you after this person? Did he do something to you? Did... He took someone away from me. Forever. So when you find him, what are you going to do? Will killing him bring back the woman that you lost? <sighs> this isn't any way to honor her memory. To take your love for her and turn it into hate? Especially when it makes you abandon your friends! You have to decide. What's more important? Is it anger and revenge? Alright then. One of us will stick by lightning. I know what I care about. Her safety. I didn't. You did. You did, Cloud. You did. Don't don't act like you didn't. Cause you did. Lightning! You okay? Whoa! Yeah, thanks. This one's a real handful. I bumped into Cloud on my way over. But he said he was busy hunting someone. It's okay. Just forget about him. Hey, look out! <laughs> oh, ah, oh, look at that! He came back! Cloud! You came back! Weren't you out looking for that silver-haired swordsman? I mean, I would. I remembered I had something more important to do. Tara, I'm sorry. I get it now. I almost sacrificed others I care about. Never again. No. I won't lose anyone else I cherish. I swear. Oh yeah? So can I take that as official confirmation that you cherish us now? Yeah. There's not a thing I don't cherish. 
Advent Children reference. Who's um, this silver-haired guy Cloud's after? It sounds like he passes the in and out of Grimoire without belonging to it. An anti-champion. An cool. anti-champion? I said oh, the shut anti up, Mon. Instead of helping to save the world, he hurts it by creating even more of the chaos and suffering. There are people like that out there? Yep. Maybe the one day you'll meet him in an expansion. Oops, never the mind. Anyway, he's not in Grimoire at the moment, so Wait, I wouldn't Tom worry about the too much wall? right now. Tama just broke the fourth wall. And to answer your question, Funko, um... Legend of Zelda games. I don't hate them, but I don't play them. But I love Super Smash Bros, so. I used to be really good with Link on the Nintendo 64, and then by the GameCube, I moved on from Link to Marth. And then by the Wii, I moved on from Marth to Yoshi, because I got really good with Yoshi in the story mode. And then by the Switch? Well, I guess technically the 3DS. Um... I've been good with Yoshi, Peach, and, um, Lucas. Alright, let's see. Let's take a look at this thing. Uh, Stream Super Smash Bros. That, I gotta figure out, um, doing that setup with a... What's that called? Uh, uh video card or whatever. I gotta get all that figured out and Crush is trying to Crush is trying to find the time to study that so he can be my, basically my IT guy because I tried to look into it and I have no idea what I'm doing because on the Switch you cannot stream, which is dumb. Uh, inflict defense down to his opportunity. Ow! Do I have that? I don't have that. Let's see. Infant living, blindness, infant poison, infant slow, reflect, shell, haze, inject, Oh, man! I don't have that! What? Oh. Oh, man. That sucks. Alright. Guess I won't capture it then. Alright. So if this thing- I, I already forgot its weaknesses. Shit. Alright. Ow! Ow! Oh man, that sucks. I wanted to catch this. Ow! Fucker! Ow! Yeah! Victory! I was really hoping I'd see Sephiroth! God, game, you're such a tease. I just felt my heart ache. I might have known. You two would try to butt in. It's good to have you back. Thank you. Don't think for a second that I've given up on my search. But... Now that I've got my priorities straight, I won't mess him up. <laughs> so, let's go. You can practice your cherishing on the way home. <sighs> Shall we get started? Yep, yep. What now? Whose soul will you touch? I'd like to... I'm not even gonna say that. <laughs> Alright. Solve the mystery of Balam Garden. I'm not saying it the way they say it, because I don't like it. Balam Garden, the League of S... League of S's home base is shrouded in mystery, thinking that perhaps it's a creature similar to the big bridge. Echo, Quistis, and Squall decide to try and wake it up. Just poke it. Mm. 
in this game, these little characters that I call chibis are called lilikins. Is there something wrong, Quistus? Oh, I just wish I was less busy. I hardly have any time to keep exploring the garden. Well, there's not much you can do. Still, remember when we moved seed here? Feels like ages ago. Yeah. We were conducting an airship test flight in the area when, boom, there the garden was. It was crawling with mirages, but it was worth it for the technology and magic alone. The stuff here is way beyond what we had at the time. A brand new airship engine, this gun blade, the draw tech. Yeah, but we should have been more careful. The machines went berserk after we gave them to Shinra. In retrospect, isn't it possible they were connected to the Cogna? We should have done our homework better before handing over our findings. Hmm? So no, I agree. They definitely the look like Funko Pop figurines. And I'm upset that, that they never scratch? made Funko Pop figurines I after see. these guys when this game came out. Or just in general. Because no, that, oh my god, I so buy know, so many of them. I still think it's because you don't trust them. Actually, that's you a lie. I buy do. Cloud, I buy Squall, I buy Sephiroth. Oh, don't worry. Our friend here isn't like that. Echo? Okay, I buy Quistus. Wait, what do you mean, our friend? Luna, Titus. Do you know something about the garden? Well, it's really more of a feeling. You know Big Bridge? I think the garden here is very much like him. Huh? So... Right. Maybe Balam Garden is just one big mirage. Although, when I reach out to touch its mind, it doesn't respond to me in the slightest. It must be sleeping way, way more soundly than I have ever seen with Big Bridge. Shall I try... Waking it up? Uh, is that a good idea? I don't think that it means us any harm. But if things do get out of hand... Got it. We'll deal with whatever comes up. <sighs> I guess so. Why, thank you. Hey. Think you could wake up so we can talk? Can I ask what your name is? Eden. Eden of Balaam. Eden. <gasps> oh no! So it is connected to the Cogna? No! Eden's saying that waking it up opens some kind of pathway to... another world. Usually, it chooses to stay in a deep sleep in order to keep the path closed. That's the only way this world will stay safe. Either way, we need to send them back. Let's go! So, there are places like this where the Cogna can just break through? I'm not this sure myself, but if the Cogna have already taken over a world that's in close to contact with Grimoire... Nice knowing ya. I'd rather not to think about it. stuff you've watched. These are fun names. Well, thank you for stopping into my my live stream. 
probably not going to be as cool as all this that you've watched, but... <laughs> I appreciate you stopping by. <laughs> Looks like Eden went back to sleep. I think we're okay. The garden should be safe from danger, as long as our friend doesn't wake up. Got it. We'll take care not to disturb it. <laughs> All right. That oh, hey. Good morning. Hey. Hi. Hi. Yeah. Intervene. Whose soul will I touch? Let's take a look. All right. Take out the terror in hometown. Cloud visits hometown to do some research, but Sid bezeeks onto the scene and demands that Cloud and Celeste put in, put on an opera. Right. Cloud, you back here again? Yeah. With all of these records here. There may be something on the guy I'm after. What guy? Ah, impeccable timing, Cloud. This book has given me a wonderful idea, but I'll need your help. What? An opera? Not interested. No way. Now, now, not so fast. Celeste, what did you say to me the other day? Because I can recall you lamenting how gloomy the town has been since that whole vampire ordeal. I might have said something like that, but how does an opera figure in? With their little hearts broken like that, they may never enjoy a book again. Sid, it's not that tragic. Hmm? It's not? Take two. With their little hearts broken like that, they'll never find the courage to fend off all the cogna. Oh, well, I suppose you're right about that. Do you see? This opera is perfect for unslumping the town spirits. You don't expect us to. Yes. It features a mysterious hero and a beautiful heroine. Who could be better for the roles? Back in my younger years, I used to be head over heads for this libretto. I'm not some opera floozy! I refuse to embarrass myself on stage. Sorry, but you can count me out too. Oh, don't say that! In fact, you can't say that because you're already on the flyers. So as the saying goes, break a leg! I ought to break your leg for doing that! Okay, get rehearsing! What? Uh, hold it! So, he knows I'm not doing this. Okay. Is that her? I think Celeste is serious. Is she gonna do it? Oh, my hero. Hmm? What do you want? A mirage? <clears throat> What's going on? Cloud! This freak fell out of nowhere. Watch it. Ta-da! It's so quiet in here, I could hear an octopus drop. You can hardly blame me for wanting to take over the place and save it for my retirement. I just flopped in to see who was making all the noise. Nobody arpeggios in my new cartagio. Unless she happens to be a deliciously pretty lady. <laughs> Who sent you? Was it the Federation? <laughs> nope, never heard of them. I'm here to domesticate, not federate. And any bozo that gets in my way is gonna get mangled. Oh, but the young lady can stay and be my honey pie. This library is a sacred place. No oh, one gave you permission to disturb it. Well, if you like your sacred library that much, I'd better do you a favor and hide it from anyone unsavory. Do you huh? ever stop? Here's God, I hate idea. you. Maybe I'll just squirt some ink all over these books. <laughs> Keep your tentacles off these books. I need them too. If you won't back off, then I know what's for dinner. I'm up for a little fancy cuisine myself. Let's do this again. Not you again. 
Who, me? Oh, I'm just an innocent passerby. <laughs> really? Oh, uh, got it. Well, in that case... No one just passes through here, dummy! Huh? Oh, uh, let's do this! I... Uh... Ow! again. All I know is that I call it a dumpster fire. <laughs> Mama tried to warn me that the real estate market was going to crash. <sighs> Seems all the books are still intact. Thanks a lot, Cloud. I had my own reasons to help. Oh, and Celeste? Is that the libretto? Hmm? Oh! It's covered in that freak's ink! <laughs> I guess that means the opera's cancelled then. No, wait a sec! Maybe the duet at the end is still okay! Oh, well, it's not like we can put on half an opera. Let's just shelve this idea. I'm sure we can find another way to cheer up the townspeople, right? Oh, well, I suppose. What a shame, too. You got a nice voice. Anyway, I'm going to keep hunting through some more of these records. <laughs> what do you know? So I wasn't the star of either performance, but that's all right. Inking up a stink. All right. Good evening. Ha! What now? There's only one more left. Whose soul will you touch? Let's see. Uh, let's give this a try. Anna Crow has dropped in on Big Bridge Alexander and they're having a blast talking about the good old days. Sadly, this wasn't just a social call. There's business to attend to. Anna Crow rolls up her sleeves and gets to work, pulling out the cogma that's been hiding inside... Big Al. So what if I had done this quest sooner? Would that have had some sort of... play on the story? That's Alexander's voice. What could be wrong? Tell me, when and where were you born? Oh. So then you are from the same place as me. Oh, wait, I know you. Come to think of it, even back then you used to tower over everyone else. You don't remember? You came and challenged me so you could be next in line for the throne. But of course, my mother's chains didn't stop me from winning. I toppled you even though you were hundreds of times bigger. What a state we left that part of the palace in. 
They were cleaning that mess up for quite a while. <laughs> well, don't sound so surprised. You know, this world you're in is a part of me. Oh, now I see. The summoner who brought you here so long ago was similar to Lon and Rain, someone who had inherited some of my power. The bloodline of Grimoire's first summoner has been so busy. Those Farnas. There are so many like you in this world now. There's Eden of Balaam. Then there's the Loot of Ragnarok. The Midgardian Ormer. There's you, of course. And who else? Hmm? What do I want with you? Actually, I'm not here to see you. I'm here for the one hiding in you. Huh? You there! Show yourself! Distressing. I see you're making yourselves at home over there. What the hell? Oh well. Champions will show up there in due time. Just like they have here in Grimoire. Lon! Rain! What the? <laughs> it's all yours now. Wait, all of what is? A, and a crow? But how can... When did you... Wh what is that thing? I guess it must be the most powerful Cogna in Grimoire right now. You don't even know? This Shit. world looks to the two of you as its saviors now. Go make us proud. But what are we doing? Dude, we totally did not come prepared for this. Uh, and a crow? Don't just leave us here! Tell us what is going on! What is this? Omega God? Big against lightning, water, and light. Oh, weak my ass! Uh. Ow! This is gonna take a while! Okay, okay, we are in trouble. Lightning, water, and light. Oh boy. Ow! Okay, how do you do against water? Okay, that hurts you a little more. Not by much. What? Um. Uh oh. Uh oh. Ow. Ow. Oh, and he had it on. Why am I so stupid? This is 
bad. Uh... Loud! Help me! I <laughs> don't know what to do! Tried that. All right, there we go. Oh, you missed. All right, all right, all right. Uh. God. Okay. Ouch! Okay, this is really awkward. I'm usually really, really strong, and now I'm really, really weak. I don't know how to feel right now. Besides intimidated as fuck. Oh. oh my god, I almost cast it on him. Once in battle? If so, I'm so bummed. Say no? 
I mean, I have... A, I've got a mini Shiva and a little little version of Rama, a younger version, but I don't have them completely up there yet, so I do not. Um, oh wait, I think I understand what you're saying. Not gonna lie. Ow. Uh. Oh man. All right, I gotta. That that was fast. All right. Ow. May as well do some little damage.
almost there. Oh, fuck. Oh, God. Ah! Oh, my God. Owie. Okay. I'm okay. Too much. Ow! Those are for the final battle! Oh, we missed! Oh my god. Getting a little scared. Just a little scared. Some ah oh, shit. Okay, okay. I gotta stay calm. Gotta stay calm. Okay, come on, Tidus. Or that's I picked the wrong one. Okay, come on, squirrel. Come on, baby cakes. Help me out. Here I am. I'll take it from here. Okay. About. I was wondering about all the ruckus. What are you up to now? Aiko? Whoa, whoa, whoa. It's not like it's our fault. We didn't cause any ruckus. Well, someone must have woken Alexander up, because I could hear him making all kinds of noise and... Huh? He's telling me to thank you. Some pest was bothering him. He said he was in pain until you showed up, or... something like that. Hmm... I don't know what that's about, but 
I guess I'd better thank you, too. Rescuing Alexander like that was very brave. Omega God L, L the Box. Oh my god! What? This is mine? What? Huh. Cool. Uh. Wait. But why? But what? I wanna. Where's the next door? Okay, so I just need to go up. Man, why didn't it just put me, take me back to the tea room? Uh. God damn it. Some of you might have lingering traumatic memories of this little, of a little ability called Confuse. What? Well, that's probably from a Final Fantasy I haven't played. Ah, uh, the good old days. Back then, imps were really impudent. What? Oh my God, the puns are killing me. I'll leave it with Seraphine. Need to get back to the door. Just wanted to get all these little. Uh, what teams are you using? Um, I mean, I don't really... This is what I have set up for them all. If it load. There we go. But mostly I've been using regular... The regular form or giants, whatever. And his I mix up, but with... With... with uh, Rain, I've been keeping it with Ponini and then some sort of strong dark magic of some kind, of a medium one. But these have been my teams for a minute. <laughs> Alright, let's get to that door. What team are you training? Uh, well, I'm using the giant form and training... Um, I guess training, not really training any. I mean, I've leveled up pretty much almost all of my mirages, that's what they're called. And, uh... It was- Damn it! It wasn't until yesterday doing some grinding I just realized- Sorry, but this might not end well for you. Let uh... I forget where I was going with that. Hold on. <laughs> We did it! Victory! It's kind of cool I got the Omega God. I don't really want to use him, though. Like I said earlier, I don't really care for the Machina-looking mirages. Unless I really have to, then I will, but... Other than that, I don't like to. Alright, get back to Ninewood. Ninewood? Ninewood Hill? Ninewood Hills? I don't forget. I, whatever. Words. All right, travel. Nine wood hills. Wood hills. Okay. All right. It's a little early, but I don't have a lot of time to continue on. 
I do want to claim my prize, though. That was a lot of work. Hey, give me my prize. I'm taking a break now. Well, give me my what shit now? and I will leave you alone. Whose soul will you touch? I don't think there's anybody left. And that's it. Weird. Seemed like there would have been more than that. I'm gonna have to Google it, but I believe. What now? The version I'm playing is. See you soon? Got extras. Like, I remember Zack being advertised in it. Noctis was advertised, so why, why the hell have I not run into them or anything of the sort? Unless it's not until closer to the end of the game. I don't know. Um, well, unfortunately, because I don't want to get going into the, uh, what's that called? The final part of the game with only maybe 20 minutes. But still, DLC, I don't, I'm, I'm playing the Maxima version, so I mean, it's showing that I have everything, I just don't know how to unlock those two. That's mostly why I wanted it. That night was on sale, so. When this is only for 20 bucks, of course I'm gonna jump on it. <laughs> anyway, uh, so. Okay, let's head to the final place, at the very least. So that way I'm there. Um, I don't know. I'll have to look into that because that's really bothering me. I wanted to see Chibi Noctis and Chibi Zack, but mostly Chibi Noctis. I used to love Zack when I was a kid, but I don't know. Now that I'm older, I don't really care. I don't, I don't know why. My taste changed a lot because I remember when I was a kid, I loved Titus. And now that I'm older, it's like, ugh, Titus. But then when I saw Orin, it's like, ooh. So, <laughs> who knows? All right. Let's get to the final stage. The arena? Mm, I didn't do a whole lot in the arena. To my understanding, that's just how I get Arma Gems, and that was really it. I mean, who knows? Maybe I do unlock something that way, but it didn't seem like it. I don't know. I'll have to take a look. But... Oh, this isn't okay. one more. I think there's a saving point up there. No, there's not. Okay, whatever. Is there? No. All right. Anyway, I'm going to call it from here. I didn't realize all those side quests were going to take up an entire stream episode. It's actually impressive, but that's okay because I enjoyed it. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. I will see you in the next one, which will hopefully be the final one so I can get started on Resident Evil 5 with Crush. And yeah. So as always, you guys take care. I'll see you in the next one. Later, guys.